Lester, we, we talked to you yesterday, and you said you wanted to be more efficient with your shots as, as some, in terms of some of your other goals. I guess what was your mentality coming to tonight and you had one of your best games of the season so far? Um, Really not just caring about the miss. Uh, Whichever shot, I, I think I started off bad. I think I was like one for five or one for six to start off, but uh, I just didn't let it affect me. I just kept shooting, and I was like, I just knew that eventually they had to drop because like, I, I worked too much on my game and worked too hard for it not to come, so... Just really the mental aspect of it, me knowing my next shot is going to drop, what was really was focused on today. Hey, Chandler, you like the old Chandler of, of old tonight. How close are you getting back to where you need to be? I know being off for like 15 weeks, man, that, I know that's a lot for you, man. So how close are you getting back to where you want to be? I'm getting my flow every day. You know, it's just all about practice and confidence. You know, I just got to keep practicing hard and just get my rhythm back and my flow. I think everything pretty much come back to normal. Lester, um, not that you know. You obviously didn't. You don't want to have to go through the injury troubles you guys have gone through. But now that you have a week off, hopefully maybe you get some of these guys back. How much, you know, do you think this stretch will maybe help you the last month, month and a half? With you know, you got you've gotten back on track. Mm -hmm. Josh has come into his own. Earl mm -hmm. had a good game. How, how much? How beneficial do you think this maybe could be? Even though obviously you didn't want to go through it. Oh, uh, coach kind of discussed it in the locker room afterwards in the little talk that we had, um, saying that it could just it could help us. It could only help us get stronger for real, uh, with the guys who are sitting out. Um, he just kind of wants the guys who are playing right now to really come together more as a unit and really try to get things clicking. So when the guys do get healthy and when they they do come back, it can only help us instead of hurting us for real. So like we having Dre and Landers and Jalen on the sideline. Those are three key players on his team. So them coming back is obviously going to come in. And we kind of just need them to come back and, like I said, help us. Because those guys, all three of those guys, I feel like defensively and offensively is huge to this team. So with them coming back, I think Coach said six out of our next seven games are teams that are ahead of us right now in conference play. So this week that we have to prepare is huge right now. It's not a week for us to rest or recover. It's really a week for us to just lock in more and get ready for this, this game, this stretch of games that we have because uh, this could just determine our season, really, with these next six games coming up. Let's, you guys jump out to the big lead. Um, they come back again. I know it probably would have been easy to kind of feel deja vu, but what kind of happened? What kind of clicked for you guys in kind of like that last 12 or so minutes of the second half? Uh, Coach Hardaway kind of came into the media timeout and got on us just emphasizing that it's winning time now. Like forget about everything else that happened throughout the game or what was said before the game or during the game. These last 10 minutes or these last 12 minutes, we all just got to lock in on what we prepared for all week. Uh, we practiced hard this entire week, so – we just all had to just lock in on the game plan that he had, and it kind of just helped us build the way and get that lead that we wanted. And we knew it was going to happen eventually. It just happened later on, later on in the game. Chandler, in the back. Um, we asked Penny yesterday about just the excitement level to have you back on the court. I mean, he, like, you know, had a lot of great things to say about you. You're the smartest player on the court. I mean, he talked about how you just, you know, stay on the game plan. I mean, how important is that, I guess, for you to hear your coach have so much confidence in you? Uh, this it's pretty much amazing. Uh, coming from Penny, like saying those words, I know that being a communicator, you gotta really just read the defense. And being, I'm, I'm always like in the back of the line, so I really see everything. So I think that's my job to like talk to everyone and keep everyone aware of what's coming or the screen or whatever. So I just gotta keep everybody alert and see. You know, people can have concussions. You know, we had like some players having concussions off screen. So it's, it's my job to like aware them. What's coming? What's coming their way? So, it's really my my job. Lester, how how much of a difference does Chandler make? Just his presence on the floor. Uh, I mean, because he was gone for so long. Mm -hmm. um, is is it? Communication part of it is a big thing, mm -hmm. but but what else does he does he um, do for you guys? Chandler brings a lot to it. I feel like you guys really haven't even seen his potential really yet. Uh, with his length defensively and even offensively, like I said, with his IQ, his IQ is through the roof. Uh, he's always going to try to make the right read and make the right play. But really defensively is where I feel like he kind of goes and throws guards off when he's in the ball screen coverage and he over communicates. So when he's coming at you with that length, it kind of messes your read off a little bit and messes off what you want to do. So 
just him defensively, I feel like is huge. And offensively, like I said, just him making the right plays and the right reads every single time is what we kind of need right now, especially that we're shorthanded with the front court and the bigs. Him coming down there and fighting for every rebound, getting his length in there, and doing everything that we need right now is huge for real. Terry and then Mark. Hey, less in the first half, your shots, you know, they weren't bad shots. They was just not mm -hmm. going in, mm -hmm. and they just rimming in and rimming out. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you're taking good shots? They just don't go down to keep the confidence up to take the next shot to keep going, to keep going, keep going. Oh, uh, I, like I said earlier, I just knew I just kept shooting. I knew they were gonna have to drop eventually. Like uh, I wake up every morning, go to the gym and shoot. So it's like I'm getting the shots that I wanted. I knew from the first half, like like you said, the shots that I did get, I understood that these are shots that I'm hitting the second half. I know they're gonna come back, and I know that I could get that. So it's kind of like just knowing. If I make, if I start off one for three, and then I make two in a row, that makes me three for five, and then it's a efficient game. Make one more, that'll be four for six. So it's like I always think I'm gonna make my next shot, never miss. This is for either or both of you. Um, when you watch Josh Minot out there, like, what do you think when he does some of? He has these glimpses of these these kind of sometimes absurd things, you know, like he'll have a pass or a dunk or whatever, <laughs> and he's, but it, you know, you. You know, at times he, you know, kind of looks like a baby deer out there sometimes yeah. too. What, what, what goes through your mind when you're watching him out on the court? Oh, sometimes I know it sounds weird because I, I really feed off of the, the young guys really because they really the the energy on the team because they really got to bring that that the energy off the bench or if you come in the game. So with Josh energy, it really brings everyone up, and I think it brings everyone together. That's why we really make those runs because because of Josh Josh plays, and I feel like this is really. What he does is really amazing too, because we don't really miss those plays, because it really helps us out. Thanks, man. Thirteen and twelve for any freshman in the country—that's huge. I mean, and he was five for ten from the field. And I joke around with him a lot and call him Giannis sometimes, but Josh, everything—the way he's been playing these last couple games and the stretch that he's been going on—it's just been—it's been great. We knew it all along throughout the season. And he's kind of just breaking his shell, and I'm happy for him. I'm glad he's finally due. I tell him to be aggressive. Even with his shooting sometimes, I always tell him just keep shooting it every single time. I don't care if it goes in or not. Like, I have the confidence in him. And it's kind of like just really I'm at the point just boosting his confidence right now because we do need him late in the season, late down the stretch. We're going to need Josh regardless.